Okay, Alex, I'm recording. Well, hold on. We're starting the debate now. So Watch I was yourself. wondering... Hold on! Hold on. Uh, like archaeology, what's the... What do you think is the number one issue with the, with the city? Um, I'm recording, by the way. I'm just one live streaming. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm live streaming right well, now. You don't, well, you you don't just fucking jump into a room and start talking when somebody's working. Like, maybe, but you don't, like, that's not how you talk to me. That's not how you talk to anybody. Excuse me, especially, especially, streaming. especially not to shill some project. I don't know what your project is, sir. Um, but have you accepted your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Yes or no? Of course I have. And how does that work? So I'm, I'm interested in being saved. Not from myself, because I didn't fucking do anything, but what do you mean you're live streaming? Should I start to, should I play copywritten music and get you a strike, or like, what's happening? Is that you? Are you on camera? Oh, oh my god, hold on. I gotta get rid of, I gotta get rid of one of my windows, one sec. I got a webcam. Uh, okay, but I need a symmetrical screen, one second. Um, hey, what the fuck did I do? Wait, now I'm not sharing any, fuck, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I am still streaming. I'm not like. Wow, I see some. Is that a satanic cult altar? What is that a culter? Is that a cult altar? Is that an Ann Coulter altar? Oh my God, it's an Ann Coulter alt altar. It's a cult. He's cult righteous. This guy's dead. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at that long hair. He's on the. He's a, he's alt righteous as fuck. He's gotta be. I'm wearing righteous. Oh fuck, I gotta fix my sound. I'm glad that you got good sound right now, because I got shitty music blasting over us. Uh, say something. Something. Alright, alright, let me see what your volume's at. Uh, it's probably pretty low. No, wow, you're at 100, dude. I'll put you up a little bit. Don't start yelling. What's up with the uh, magical B word? You gotta... You got someone a to keep. Of mine. She's moderating the debate. Oh, oh, hi, moderator. Oh, she, they can't talk. I, I meant to say they, you know, because Kev, you can't like, you can't touch this. There's no way. I'm in perfect form. Like, I don't even tell me about your project. Like, and and you don't have more than 15 minutes, so you better fucking get to it because these people have no attention span. And also. Hold on, save your also save your bullshit, you know, for someone who believes in Jeebus. Jesus. Jesus. Christians. Uh moderator, if you are oh oh Kevin. Kevin, watch this shit, yo. It's so good. Look at this. Are you ready? Oh wait, I gotta make sure I'm streaming the right thing. This is too this is too good. What am I streaming? Kevin never watches my stream. We know that much. Windowed projector. This might crash me, but I love it. Oh, fuck. I need, uh, I need to get rid of one of these videos, Kev. I don't know what... You know, we'll get rid of my ideas. Fuck it. Fuck sharing everything. Fuck sharing everything with these motherfucking people. Of course... I still... Oh, there we are. Oh, it's good. Kev, it's perfect. Watch this. You ready? Fucking nerd. Live streaming nerd. Oh, you're a live streamer? Wow. I'm alive, too. Yo, Kev. Yeah. Yo, watch. Watch my stream. Look at how good this is. You ready? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Listen to the music. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 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 <laughs> oh, I know it's like this. Yeah, you're dabbing on the cross. You know what a dab is? A dab is a heil while you cover your eyes because of the shame of doing a heil. Look. It's a, it's a it's a shame heil. Yeah, I saw a meme that explained that. Yeah, I didn't, because I don't look at what you people call memes, which is basically a gif or a motion gif. I mean, essentially, or just a 
screenshot photograph of somebody else's ideological creation. I love how memes are just shared like completely for free so you can't even earn a living making them yet. Like really, you just almost can't. I mean, NFTs give you a chance, but... Oh, dude, look at that cross, dude. Have you ever seen a hotter fuck? The lighting is so warm. <coughs> also, I've never seen someone burned at the cross. Like, I think we should burn something, like, in a movie. As a part of the development of e-motion pictures, I think we should, we should burn someone on the, a robot. We should burn a robot on a cross. What do you think? Uh, oh, that's your dude. You just freaked me out. That's your window. That's what you're recording. Get rid of it. Right click and get rid of the fucking non the things you're not look. Well, you got. I guess it's better with a nine. You, what you have on your screen is tic tac troll, right? Tic tac troll. I need um, I need three more characters. Let's see. Show non video. Oh, I got it. Kev, look. Oh, Kev, you see? Look at my screen now. Look at my screen. Tic tac troll, dude. Look at it. it's Camelot. It's done. Look at that. B, can you turn anything on? If Craig doesn't have any fucking video, can I give him a... But I do kind of like Craig. If B turns on the screen share, so it'd be perfect. Have you ever played Tic Tac Troll? Have you ever played Tic Tac Troll? Do you know I control you? This is not a debate, you're is it? You're not gonna, thing, by the way. You're not going to come in to... I, it's not a... It's not like... It's an ideopoly, and I can troll you, and, and until Sheba stops arguing with me, I'm going to keep using it. Because, like, every time I say it, like, even though Sheba knows what I mean, she still says, no, you can't. No, you don't. No, you don't. But I do. I can. And I do. Thank you for your feedback, though. I took it under consideration, and be you probably think it's because I'm a super negative person that I'm rejecting it, but maybe you're okay, right. I'm maybe not. I'm I'm actually starting the live stream now. What? Lies. Fucking lies, dude. You can't get famous on my back. That's fucked up. What are you, what, like, seriously? Oh, I think I fucked this up, though. I had to set up this, this Discord. But if you're not watching the stream, then you can't, um... Fuck, my spacing is off. Why is my fucking spacing off? I just had this perfect... Oh, you can't hear my music either, can you? Too bad for you. No. Actually, I'm going to add it in. I'm going to add it in, but real quiet. It's not... It's a completely repeating, like, non-copywritten, gay electronic beat. Platonically gay. Okay. Yeah, I got my crown on and everything. Look at and that. if both... Uh-oh. Now I got an echo. Crown is on. We're ready to go. Starting the live stream in 10 seconds. Oh, wait. No, we're pretty much good. We're good. Hold on. I'm, I'm just going to switch one thing. You're going to have to deal with the music or suck my dick. I am going to beat Ben Franklin. You know that, right? You're, I appreciate the balls that you have thinking that, that like you can come in here and challenge Master Beethoven. Like, I love you. Who, who are you who are so wise in the ways of science? You know who I am. Don't play games. I am the smartest. Wait, what is it? The smartest, least guarded, smartest most... Hardest. least. Least cathartic, least cathartic, least guarded, smartest artist with a TARDIS. I'm Doctor Who. The fuck are you people? I'm traveling this through time. I this isn't, this through. isn't destiny. Time is travel. Your whole philosophy is unraveling. You're, 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 you're on the show with a guy named Doctor Philosophy, and I don't think you're prepared. I also I think you're a like a prepare. Are you a, you're some kind of prepare head. I have to I say have words that I think of that are new. It's a compulsion. A it's called a psychosis. A what? A retardist. D Doctor Who says? No, what? she says who? <laughs> this is... I forgot. It was from a real-life encounter. I'm sorry. It's in previous records. Um, hold on. i got to fix something here. Fuck! Oh, hey, look at my screen. My screen of, is fucked. My screen is... On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a prison is my city? Um, I mean, it's not literally a prison. It just has no, some of the aspects of a, pri a prison. It, it, uh, hold on. 
Oh, I know why, because I have nine... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta fix my shit, dude. I'm more interested in myself than you. Like, I'm fucking American. What are you, serious? Hold on. Like, I, I give a fuck about you. Um, I just made a blueprint that doesn't even have walls or windows connecting it to the rest of the city. So you can, like, shout, and the people on the road can hear you. You can shout from your living room, and the people traveling down the road can hear you shouting, because there's no walls. Because there's no weather. Oh, so because you control no, me. Because you, you control me. If there's no weather, you don't need walls, you don't need windows, you don't need roofs, you don't need siding. So your living room is connected directly, seamlessly, to the road system, to the outside world, to po potentially restaurants and hairstylists. The and fuck are you talking about? Location. It's like you gotta like my audience and doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. There's we have we have designated loitering areas in the city. There's there's areas that are legally designated just for loitering. Sure, but my audience has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Like, does that sound like, like a prison to you? Oh yeah, I mean, get that off my live stream. Get that off my live stream. No, it's not copywritten. It's not it's like too loud too. I'll fix it. Hold on. But you're just talking about some shit we didn't even start yet, and you're, and you're talking about some. I told you crazy, we started. Crazy stuff. You haven't given me a number one through ten. Okay, I do zero to to ten to make it interesting, and which is good. A ten is bad, and a zero means it's a completely free space. It's a lot like a prison compared to. Every single uh, living space I've ever imagined creating, it's like a prison. Like, it's a 10 compared to everything I've ever worked on. So you can see Alex's is window behind him? Literally, literally a prison. You can no, see don't. Yoda you're showing the wrong video. Show my him, whole screen. It's covered up, voluntarily covered. I don't know what he's talking about. You can't say anything. There we go. <laughs> now, that's what you're supposed to show, you fucking... Your window is no, voluntarily covered. No, you gotta show my whole screen. You don't know how to record shit, dude. You are, you are like... I'm, I'm live streaming this to YouTube right now. I know, because you're thirsty as fuck, and you came to the guy who operates according to thirst principles. Like, I'm your first I, principle. I just got my first webcam. I could have three more and compete with you. Listen, matter, I am... I am... Days. I am the king... Arthur... Wait... I'm the king. I'm King Arthur from Web Camelot. So welcome. I I'm do see you. Four more webcams in the mail right you now. You look like Snape. You look like Snape, or is it Snape? You look like that guy from fucking Harry Potter, that evil fuck played by that one actor like, with the long black hair. Remember him? You look yeah, like him. Kind of do, don't I? You disgust me, and I don't care if you diss and cuss me. As long as you fucking disgust me, you disgust me. I disgust you? You don't have sufficient disgusto. You have not learned that if you're gonna diss, you have to diss respectfully. Let's agree to diss. Agree. You say agree. See, this guy, he's not I agree. too... Let's agree to diss. Yeah. No. So no. Let's say no. 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 You didn't... Else? The AI does not accept that shit. Let's agree to diss. I agree. You can't say I agree. The, sa the saying is not, let's agree to diss, I agree. The, the idea is, let's agree to diss. It's how you start the game. Let's agree to diss. Agree. Agree. Let's agree to diss. Agree. Finally. Oh, my God. Retards. Sorry. I've been canceled, so it's just it's coming out now. Yeah, man. I'm going to have to tell on you for that. I should get you a YouTube strike for this fucking video. So I, do, what I love the do Jews, by the way. The love the, and I'm serious, but... The algorithm doesn't know. What? What would you do or change to make the city better? Yours? I would turn it into a fucking substrate of a version of space space scrapers of Catan. Like I would I would turn it into a board game that can expand infinitely by tessellation and then worry about like what people build up in their little battle mech recreations or their just games that they play on your board. I wouldn't try How to build a fucking city out of a prison. Board. Okay, How build one and let board. ants live in it, or build one and let mice live in it and see how the fucking mice so, like it. 
Your solution is an ant farm. Yeah. Or a mouse farm. You watched my Kowloon city. What What did you think when they said that people loved it and people protested when it was destroyed? People said, it's fucking horrible, but I have fond memories now that I've escaped. That's what they... Now that I'm not there, I can kind of... Especially because now I'm on camera and you're giving me donuts and coffee for free and I'm poor. I'll, I have better feelings about Kulan City. It's insane. Like, it's interesting to look at for a minute. About? Who is it's giving a terrible, people terrible donuts? place. The, the people that were talking to the people, right? The interviews that were being done. Part of the reason people were happier during those interviews is because they were being paid attention to and given donuts. What's I mean, whatever the Chinese people. I don't know how you say donut in Chinese. What's your source for this bullshit claim? I'm just making it up. I know you are. <laughs> That's why. I mean, I know I am too, though. So, so like, do shit. My city will have ten times the internal volume per capita. Of what do you mean, my city? That sounds fucking crazy. What do you mean? It is my city. But, like, what do you mean? You well, own a city? Like, like what are you saying? Who? You're going to bring a city into fruition. How? How, How do you do that? My yeah, mind yeah, and my words. Okay, so, like, what, what is the next per? What does your right hand man do? Like, what, what does the next person do? Because you've designed everything already. Like, you know how much air conditioning costs. So, like, what do, what do they do? Just live, live cheap and prosper? So, the next step is to join the Discord server, and then we can manipulate algorithms to get onto the front page of Reddit. Not the front page of Reddit. But manipulate the algorithms. Not good. Reddit. Not great. Reddit. I mean, yeah, Reddit's Reddit, fine. Reddit, Reddit is the murder of eternity by some clever people and a lot of, you know, more sheepish people. Karma, right? You get karma. It's great. Karma. So, if you go viral on a medium-sized subreddit one time, you can get, like, three to 5,000 views. And then if those people... And you can start a conversation, too. And if then you have all a those people, if they share it once, then you're talking about, like, 15,000 views. Yeah, but you don't even understand peer-to-pyramid scheming. You certainly don't understand Shakespeare-to-pyramid scheming, so how are you going to do that? Like, you've never even mentioned any of the necessary ideas. You can't just Sorry. get people... If you have a, vi a video that's good enough to build a city, or if you have a narrative that's good enough to build a city, five th you're not going to get... Five, like, I understand you're saying 5,000, blah, 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 blah. It... it you got to go extremely viral. And the problem is most people don't want to live there. Like in your case, even less people want to live there than want to live in my cities or my universities. So you have like maybe one in 160,000 human want, humans wants to live there, which is enough to build one. But how do you go viral when only one in 160,000 people wants to live in your city? Like for me, it's one in 8,000 and it's still hard as fuck because when you build something really specific... The more specific you get, the smaller the number of people that are going to bond with it, and and have and be and be able to develop so consensus. I wasn't done it's, talking. It's now I'm done an talking. entire format of constructing cities. It's, in, it's ah. an entirely new format of constructing cities. It has always existed. It will always exist I mean, as, an, as an idea, as a concept. Sure. Just because it's new, just because no one else well, it can't has be done new it, if it always existed. It can't be new if just it always existed. Just because it doesn't currently exist doesn't mean it's unpopular. It doesn't mean people won't enjoy it. You're assuming people hate Some it people would. No, some people, people would. But very few people want a tiny, super cheap apartment to avoid... Uh, a commute. Some people like listening to music and music and podcasts on their commute. People don't want to like stay in. The, from what I know, most people don't want to stay in the I same think place. Than yours, dude. People you have, have no. Like, what are you talking about? Feet. Have you watched my videos? The apartments are like eight thousand square feet. That's insane. I have a. Why the, I how just the fuck? A video of an, I just made a video of an apartment that's fourteen thousand square feet. That's insane. That's even now. You're, that's another insane thing. A fourteen thousand square foot apartment for for what? I, I, my apartment's way too big for what I need. I would love to have a private rooftop deck. True, but I'm in Buffalo, and usually they do slanted roofs that can't change. But like, I have way too much space. And how big is my apartment? Like, it's way too much for what? Versus what are you doing? Probably like 1400 or something you're talking 8,000 you talking I think you're talking 8,000 cubic feet maybe like what are you talking like 14,000 cubic feet 
No. Like, what are you going to do? Are you talking a hundred, an apartment that's a hundred, 1,400 feet long and one foot wide. How do you even, how do you even, like... You're not very good at math, are you? <laughs> you said, what, 14,000... So, 000, so, so okay. 10 by 10 room is 100 square feet. A 20, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 14, 1,400 foot long apartment. That's 10 feet wide. It was just, it's all, it's, the numbers are so insane, I got confused myself. Like, you're talking an apartment that's 140 feet long and 10 feet deep. And the whole front of it is glass windows. It's just like a wall... It's a, it, I mean, God, if, 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 you give, if you can give me a 140-foot-long apartment with my own private rooftop deck and the entire front of it can open as a drawbridge, yeah, okay, in, in, out in nature, fine. I'll take that 140-by-10-foot fucking thing that you built. But, like, who lives in 100... Like, your whole point is efficiency, isn't it? Like, who lives in that apartment? And what do they do? And why are you wasting all that space? I don't get it have extra space because the city is three-dimensional. I have all, all of the space I could possibly use because I'm using all of the airspace. I'm using 100% of the airspace. But that's a, nobody does anything with airspace. Like, up to, up to like, 13 exactly. foot... Exactly! That's exactly up to my point! People no in... No does anything with airspace right now. People they in giant mansions generally limit their roof height to something that's comfortable for humans. Like, you're talking I'm about talking putting... I'm talking about the airspace above your, your building, above your house. All of that airspace is now being utilized to its fullest extent. It's not. What are you talking about? You have like a, a two-dimensional thing. Does. It doesn't. You have it things does. on top of your... I, I've but seen I'm your models. Right now, the apartment I'm describing to you because right now would be 100 feet above your roof. It would exist 200 feet above your roof. That's how arcology works. What, but why? Nobody... You're, why? It, it, there so is no reason to go beyond... Team. Like thirteen feet vertical. It doesn't make up for being squeezed. Like, what's the average apartment size? It's so you can ride your bike across the city in three minutes in the middle of winter. That's why. Okay, that's a weird fucking metric. I mean, it's better than it, but I mean, so you're not going to get any exercise. I guess that's kind of like, but whatever, fine. But what's what's the huge benefit of a three minute bike ride to your Have you job? Heard of climate change. Have you heard of climate change? Have you heard of global warming? Have you heard of peak oil? What does that have to do? Peak what oil to do means you're you know what peak you oil means. How much anymore. oil have we already eaten? Okay, forty-eight percent. Forty-eight percent. Forty-eight percent of it is left, and all we'll need it for in the future is like some plastics and shit. And most of that'll be done by like hemp and, and bioplastics. We have plenty of oil that has nothing to do. With what, no one's going to go move in a place because they think of peak oil. They're going to think, what will my life be like? And if it's a 14000 what does that apartment cost? Like, you just make these statements. What that do you want me to do? It's like 200000 For 200000 what? Dollars. What, what do you think I'm talking about? Rent? To buy it? Like, what do you... Yeah, to buy the apartment. Two hundred. You're buying a 14000 square foot apartment for two hundred grand. And how what's the, what's the, and, and how high is the roof on this fourteen thousand? You're saying fourteen thousand floor feet, square feet of the floor. Yeah. One level. No, it's three stories. How and how high are the? You're talking like six. Ten like, ceilings. You're talking forty five hundred or forty five hundred square feet stacked three high. Whatever, like you're saying, fourteen thousand split between three floors. Yeah, 4, and the total and the total height of this the total height of this apartment is what? Uh, it's like thirty two ish. The three standard stories stacked on top of each other. I thought you just what about this air? Oh, what about this airspace? Like what? Do you, like, I mean, that's you're talking about the person at the. About? I thought you said these roofs or the ceilings are super high or some shit. You're talking they're just 11 yeah, feet tall. 32 feet, yeah. Each. No, it's all three. 32 divided by three. Well, that's, I mean, you're just building three floors. It doesn't, like, you're not, it's not, it's not only really airspace. I mean, you're just building more it's, it, floors. Everything is airspace, Alex. Alex, everything is airspace. Kev, at the top of your community is some cool, like, rides what and you shit. What in right now is airspace. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Yes, but you're making it sound like people building f stories on buildings is like an like when they were when they talk about airspace. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but usually when people in the real world talk about airspace, they're talking about buildings and cities where a building is short and it's going to sell its fucking airspace to somebody else to build so they can stay within regulations. Like you're just talking about stories. Like you're just that's all that means is stories of a building, right? Like and you happen to be putting skyscraper or small skyscrapers right next to each other which brings efficiency but cancels walls that would hold windows and almost everybody in the world that i know prefers windows like everybody i mean you could put up television screens i guess you can have tele windows maybe but i think still only one in 160,000 people want that one in 160,000 you get 10 you get 10 you get hold on you get 10 at 1.6 million a hundred at sixteen million, a thousand at. What's your like, source for that one hundred and one six? I'm just making it up, thousand. but it's not, I'm just making it up. But like, you're 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 talking about something where people are sacrificing a lot personally to windows. save the to save they're the world. Windows. No, they're sacrificing a lot versus having a nice house. There's some economy, sure. There are some advantages to what you're talking about, but they're also sacrificing a lot to save the world. And they don't even get a paradise of any kind. They get an efficient oh, so place. Wait. They're sacrificing windows, and they're only saving the world, and they're only. But they're, but they're not really saving the world unless everybody does it. If your calculations are correct, they're only saving That's the world. What? If you don't use oil, the world can run out of oil, and you're still fine. You can have all of the oil wells dry up, and you're, you don't have a problem because you don't have that need for that commodity. The political system could fall apart, and you're like, oh, oh well, I don't need any oil. I have solar panels, and that's. But the my vet, well, the from. well, we're not, we're not like accelerating on some exponential curve. We're really heading in a very strong way towards some very powerful green technologies. Once we have Las Vegas, like all your, <laughs> like it's all done. Once we have global hydrogen on a on a mega it industrial is a scale, powerful green technology, Alex. It, it, it is fine. Okay, it is it is it is one technology. thing you can do to squeeze energy. You sound, hold on, let me let me say something. You sound like a boomer who's desperately clinging to suburbia, who's desperately clinging to WalMarts with their giant fucking parking lots. That's and that's like, what you say. Like six six lane roads and and strip malls and this whole lifestyle. Like what? You're desperately clinging. You're desperately clinging. I am clinging. literally addressing your pitch. You're desperately clinging to car culture. You're talking about a hyper... I, dude, the name of my fucking housing company is called Car Age Housing, and it's ironic as fuck. Like, I'm not... None of that is true. I'd rather live in the suburbs than in that thing coming for, from where I come from, because my life was fucking great in the suburbs, and I had some privacy, and I had a yard, and there weren't fucking people everywhere on top of me. They were next door on their own little property, which is not the ideal way to run the whole world, but, like, you don't run the whole world. You can find some people to live in it, but I'm your friend, and I love you, and I think you're talented, and I don't want to fucking live there as it stands. I want you to make a game and make some money and see what it's like when you live in a house that you built, that you designed in Blender, and built for yourself. We are designing a game for our ecology. No, Who's we? I have a game developer who loves the idea and wants to contribute to it and popularize it. Objection hearsay. But you don't ever address what I talk about the game, and I'm not even talking about a video game, but sure, like anything you do, everything I want to do in reality would probably be done in a video game first, but like, you don't address when I talk about it for years. So you talk to somebody else, oh. you talk to a game developer about making a digital version, but you don't actually have conversations with me. Unfortunately, probably the smartest fucking person that you actually talk to on a regular basis. Unfortunately, probably. Your behavior is unbecoming on this live stream. I'll be coming wherever the fuck I want in my server. I come in my server every day, and I become in my server every day. I say become passionate. Don't be comfortable. I think you've become comfortable. I think you be comfortable. I become passionate. Are you going to try to beat me? You look like Guy Fox. Like you're this tiny little image on my screen in the corner of one of six Camelot windows. And I'm on your screen. Oh, hey. Fuck this shit. Like...
put yourself full screen and be Snape. If you're going to be Snape, let's see the crazy long hair that these women from Shiba's server want to face fuck. Let's see it. Come on. Come on, Mr. Handsome face fuck. Let's see it. It's longer than this. I can't. No. Go full screen. Like, I'm seeing myself like seven times because your Almost aesthetics. Like, you you're a skilled me? blender designer and you're tall and all that. You got some cool poems, but your aesthetics need work. Your screen is ass. You're in your Other, kitchen, bro. The only th I love my kitchen is fucking great. There are eyeballs in that piece of foam. Is that your for aesthetic? you people? Eyeballs cut out of a piece of foam. That's your aesthetic. What are you talking you about? Fuck, I didn't. No, no, no. Those those were not eyeballs before. They happened to be noticed as eyeballs later when I wanted to put it in the window. You're you're comparing my aesthetic. My all my six windows beat yours. Look at my windows. Look at this. Like this window. 1900 Ideopolis. Brilliant. This window. First person overhead. Brilliant. Little, little, little. See, now when I see Kevin City, sometimes I look at my videos and I'm like, I yell at Kevin for having everything so busy. But this is not as busy as Kevin City. And look at it. And then, of course, the Jesus cam. Jesus is over here. I say, save your bullshit, right? Hot, like the hot messiah is over here. That means I'm a hot mess, and I do this a lot. <sighs> hot mess. <sighs> hot messiah. Get it? I'm going fucking... to get a Jesus cam that outcompetes your Jesus cam. You can hang it. You can fucking burn yourself on a, on a cross. I'd rather watch lacrosse. You're not coming across. We just disabled your video for now because you're not doing it. Like, I'm t I have all of Camelot. Like... Are you even watching my stream, you fucking geek? You're looking at... Why are you looking at me? Look at the I fucking the stream. Cam on. Put the stream on, or I can't write. Like, the handicap that you have is lacking uber speed, right? So... So, that, how would you better utilize three-dimensional airspace? I'm not really sure what that means. I mean, I, I, like, I, I believe that when we build university campuses, the, the most likely geometric shape is one you love. Like, But it's more like if you go up in a hot air balloon a few hundred feet and you look down, what you'll see is a hexagon. Just like you love hexagons, right? I love hexagons. Everybody loves fucking hexagons, honestly, I think. Bees, birds, nerds, words. So there'll be a hexagon there, but that hexagon will be a piece of property. Like, whatever it is, it'll be an, an, a space, an open space of nature where the points of the hexagons are will go some kind of a node. Some kind, like probably a circle, probably a circle dug by a machine that is simplistic as fuck and just carves a yurt into the ground, like, and will probably place an overstrength circular concrete foundation in the earth, capable of holding 13 stories if the city grows, and it's a little more expensive than a normal foundation, but it's not 13 times more expensive, it's like 22% more expensive. And then we, person lives in the fucking hole until we've built all 10,000 holes. And what goes on top of those holes is our floor. Your floors are huge hexagons. Our floors are like between 13 and 39 foot diameter circles that contain like fucking everything. We just put them over a hole in the ground and you have a house where everything you need is contained in your fucking ceiling. And, and that floor also contains everything that the people on the floor above need. And originally it's just a roof. So we don't, like, we're not accessing all of those utilities from the fucking roof. But some of them we are. So I'm talking a huge open space. My system. You just described what I did, except using concrete circles instead of steel hexagons. No, I'm saying that our city would have six people in individual circles, individual private homes, surrounding a 4.2... No, I wasn't done. Like you I'm talking about like a giant farm. About a, yours is not a giant farm. I'm talking about a giant farm with a regular spacing of people in the early generations. A regular spacing of people to maximize distance and privacy in the early years. If, in fact, cities become so popular, yes, we will go vertical. 
But when we go vertical, every new floor that we add will have 360 degrees of windows, and you have none. And our windows will all have draw. Every window that we have will have a drawbridge, right? So they can be very vulnerable windows, not very expensive, because they have drawbridges that can cover them. So they're really thin, beautiful fucking windows that don't cost a lot of money and don't actually carry that much weight. Because when the weather's bad, or somebody comes near our house with a fucking stone in their hands, like, named Kevin or otherwise, we just press a button and the whole thing closes. I should hop on Blender right now and show you what the view would look like from the window of what you're describing. You don't see much at all. Like, what you see is open you fields. You see these concrete circles everywhere. It's concrete no, what you would see is a... What you'd see... What you'd see... Mainly is a is a huge amount of open space, right? And you'd realize that you're in a house that is a me- is a member in three different properties. Let's say six. They're actually six acres, right? You're a, you're a member, an equal member in six different hexagons of empty property. And the people that administer those properties, depending on how close they are, remember they have more power. They will do with those hexagons, and there's ten thousand of them in a university. So, whatever they want, like some of them, many of them will be farms. Like farms where the people who live there like go out and listen to music and meditate while communing with the fucking farm. And of course it'll be organic. Like some of them will be sports fields. Some of them will be models of your community. Like Like one of them will actually have a model of your community in one hexagon. Right, the whole hexagon will be one of your things. Because you're not going to resist us because you won't succeed before us and you probably won't succeed unless we succeed and, and, and win billions of dollars of Alex prizes. The one way you can build this thing is to win Alex prizes, in my opinion. And that's the truth, in my opinion. You want to build a billion dollar oh, or three billion dollar building, you need to win a ton of money from a genius. I'm not saying you're not a genius, but you're not a genius. You're just very smart. Okay. You could work with me instead of against me. I'm not working against you. I'm working on my own shit every day. I've been working for 70,000 hours. I'm not into your design on that level. I like it. It's cool. You're my friend. That's not my life's work. I'm 70,000 hours in something else, which was originally called democracy with a Z. It's a systematic thing, not an architectural thing primarily. primarily. Our chi texture is not just the fucking buildings. You're creating a situation when there's so many neighbors that are so close that it breaks the AI every time it tries to find living arrangements because who your neighbors are matters a fucking lot. And if they're too close to you, I think it all gets destroyed. Energy is real. The disturbance of the universe's energy that will occur inside of your fucking brilliant little prison city is considerable in my opinion. It may be undoable. It may drive everyone crazy. You may be making the cuckoo's nest. And you're and you're trying to compete with the silent knighthood. Like you're trying to compete with the silent nightclub, which is fucking brilliant and has almost no drawbacks. Instead of saying, why aren't you working with me? Why aren't you working with me? I'm older than you. I'll do what Chepa does. I'm bigger than you. I'm not. I'm faster than you, I am, and I'm better than you. I'm the best person I know that I know that I know. That's also pathetic, but it's true in my opinion. And I'm a student of the truth, so my opinion like generally... Physical, rough around the what? edges. What? What's that? I didn't hear what you said. Whoa. Rough around the edges what? A little egotistical. I'm an arsicist. I'm arsicist. I'm the fucking god of arsicism. We're great. You're not behaving that way. And you try harder than most people. You're out of the shell, blah, 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 blah. But, like, you got your own trap. The universe is the mind and body of God, and it's pretty much deterministic, and you'll probably never escape it. But it's possible, I think, if you look ahead far enough. problem is you look down, sort of. You focus so much on one city that you might be watching the whole universe fly by. So you're I don't I'm concentrate on yeah, way too focused on one big thing, but are it's not the. Too, are you too scatterbrained? Is that possible? No, I have literally fucking nineteen hundred plus, and whatever. I don't know how many are actually unique. Like you search them all on Google, and I should do that. I'll make a documentary. I'm searching every word on Google. Fine, that's a documentary. How many of them exist? A lot of them do, 
And then I go into we, the, the next documentary is we go into this thing called Mid Journey, right? We go into Mid Journey and type in my words and get 2,024 pieces of art that are only half mine, right? Like ha all that work and like one program can allow that company to own half of all my creation, but not really. What they can do is use me to promote themselves and be like, yo, you know how you know that guy Alex because of all those beautiful pieces of art that came from these non-existent words? Well, we, we were there too. Like, he, he needed us. I don't need them, but I might use them. Like, it's just a company. It's like a, it's like a country. What the fuck? I mean, corporations aren't people, but nations are. What's that, Biggie? Wait, is B here? Yeah, that's a great idea. Can we change the song, Alex? Wait a minute, I can't hear B. You know I can't hear B because I was in Sheba's trying... Yep, hold on. Yeah, I'll just turn the song off. B, I'm sorry, I couldn't Thank hear you, you at all because I was recording, like, me and Kevin and Sheba's, and I don't record... I try hard not to record anybody else, so you were at zero. I didn't even know you were speaking. I was not in control of that audio, so... What? I changed it, right? It's gone. Yeah, you turned it off. Yeah, but I was not in control of that. Yeah, but I couldn't hear B at all, and that's what I'm apologizing for. That's what I'm on about. Kev, I'm going to beat Franklin. I don't know what you're going to do. You could do. You could be one of the most famous people in the fucking world for doing good things with your mind and American freedom. But I don't see I anybody. Yeah. I don't see anybody doing that on their own. I I, I, I look at my I look I at my friends in the world. My own. Every Is that single person. I because don't mean I. I just one -man show? No, I I couldn't do it on my own either. I'm just saying, like, what if like, I told when, you there's more people involved? It, it, well, it doesn't matter. I don't want to live there. Like, I have, I've been working my whole life, and I've chosen not to dive into, at any great, great depth, like, how other people are going to live. I am not like you in that I like space, and I think people want space. And, yeah, it, it, you are right in a sense, right? If you have a concrete cylinder, right? If you have a concrete cylinder and there's another concrete cylinder 99 fucking yards away or whatever it turns out to be, like, I don't know what the dimensions of a hexagon are that has one fucking acre per person, right? I don't know. Each of the triangles has what? A, each of the triangles is, is, I mean, I could figure it out, but out loud this high, it would be very hard. Um, You're just describing a cheaper version of suburbia, though. No, we're, no, we're talking about a, a way better version of huge tracts of land all over the world that could be you know, sustainably farmed in, in large part, right? We're talking about saying there's a huge commercial farm, farm, the land is pretty amazing, and because of the efficiencies that come with your way of building, but also with mine, um, we can go onto the land and do really, really amazing things. We can do the same thing on the water, but it doesn't, it's more about the system of human beings and cooperative intelligence and, like, the general mechanisms um, uh, infrastructurally and industrial. I just think you go a little bit too far and and I think you make some presumptions and, and you did a lot of drugs. I've done a lot of drugs too, but not the same kind all the time. So I think maybe you got a little swirled up in the psycho delicious world and overly bonded with giant hexagons, which are fine, but I think you overrate them they're and, and are warehouses. You're being they're prejudiced. Just warehouses. Well, I, I, we built something called a warehouses. I only like a warehouses not warehouses. If they were rectangles, would you be more comfortable? No, I'm. I, I, I listen. I wreck. I, I wrecked angles many years ago. I wrecked angles. <laughs> I will fucking wreck creation, dude. This isn't destiny. Me. Sorry. Um. <coughs> oh fuck! I need some water. Kev, this world. Um, I feel that you're you're criticizing it because. It comes from me, and because you feel the need to compete me, with me. But that's, I say the same because, thing to you. Because I'm not doing it through some kind of like communist collective that you think all good, successful ideas should come from. Well, you're not doing it. And you said you said this at many, all, many times. unless I'm also doing it. I'm not a communist. I do believe that people voluntarily associating, like when Ben Franklin created the first libraries and and fire engines and shit that people work together on, like voluntary associations are tremendously powerful things. I also believe that forecast profits, although they brought us to this point in the development of technology, are not the future by any means. I think people will get ahead of the game just enough 
in time that they that they can operate benefit in this corporations that the, that the extra money that they have which in an ideal world everyone can save up something right or whatever they can at least earn a free retirement um yeah i'm done with that whole thing we, we, we have things in common. We want efficiency, right? I, I realize there's a ton of land, farmland, desert land, ocean land. Like, if you really want to do something in the world, there's a shit ton of fucking land. The yeah, commercial no, farms commercial farms are pretty fucking productive these days, but it's nothing like would happen if enlightened citizens lived on a city that existed where a giant fucking farm used to exist and fly to one another's houses in electric-powered flying saucer-shaped zeppelins at 67 miles an hour and can fly over the entire fucking giant city in like six minutes. Like, yeah, sure, it'll take you an hour on a bike, but, like, we didn't design the city for fast transportation by land. Like, we just didn't. Like, we don't do fast. Like, the city is where we live. We don't want things flying around at high speed. We're gonna move shit? Go overhead. You gotta go fast? Go overhead. You got to bring in a thousand ton fucking lathe. Fly it overhead. Like we're literally going to have... I am going to pull a giant Zeppelin on a windless day into a university and by myself attach it and lower it to the fucking ground. Myself. I'll pull it. I am having multiple Zeppelins thanks to your inspiration. Well, I so... didn't have Zeppelins. I mean, I'm a mech. I'm a... I'm into Zeppelin. Zeppelins are great. You have a giant hard on for Zeppelin. I think you should make a hex up. You should make a like what, what kind of hexagonal Zeppelin? A hexagonal come up, Zeppelin. Come up with a, a an exact hybrid fuck production of one of your hexagons. Ask your ask your AI to combine one of your units with a flying saucer. Like I think that okay. like you know it's like your shit kind of like it's a flying saucer but it's a hexagon, and in the air they can connect up to each other magnetically and create like a huge floating field like air cities those are probably better for air cities honestly yeah we can try and build that above the city that's a good idea but actually. E even, even think about trying to go in the ocean you don't want i don't think you want big concentrated shit everywhere you want like a, a floating net of tubes which together absorbs the motion of the ocean and creates a tremendous amount of pressure per second which is available everywhere in the fucking city. But when you're in the water, like when you're in the ocean, especially like n nearer to the water, you don't want outlets everywhere, right? Like so, we use air motors for almost all the work. You do. But you spread shit out, and I think you build up the nodes. Your whole thing like takes the node, it builds in the nodes and in the intervening spaces. Like you put stuff everywhere, which fine. Like some people, some cities. Maybe if the world gets the shit and we get another ice age, like an ice age, maybe your shit is for an ice age. You do very nice in an ice age, right? You basically build a mountain of these things and then just cover it in fucking snow, yeah. and then you're it done. It does very well in Arctic. And like That's pretty funny. Like we'll we'll play a game and your city will be in the game. It's called Fort Year, and like depending on climate conditions and like what happens in the universe, sometimes you'll win, right? Like evolutionarily, sometimes my cities will be way too optimistic and they'll just get wiped the fuck out. But yours. Well, the thing is with ours, though, if you have 10,000 concrete cylinders spread over, I don't know, I mean, let's see, 10,000 acres? Um, most, like, asteroid strikes or the other things would hit in between, right? Like, you wouldn't hit the houses most of the time, and you could crush a bunch of us, but not all of us. If somebody drops a kinetic tungsten rod into the top of your city from space, and it's, and it's only as big as this... Like you're all fucking dead. Like <laughs> you're all gonna die. Yeah. Like the shock, the shock waves, and the collapse of an assault by the United States upon your cities. It's like they're just like they love you. Like they don't need. Yeah. Like you've built a bunker made of cardboard for utopians. Like you're finished. It's kind of weak against like cruise missiles and carpet bombing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't miss. Like, what about ma okay? What about magic carpet bombing? Like. We're gonna live in a world. You're, like our kids are gonna live in a world well, like, when they say when they say bombing, magic carpet bombing and, and and no when they say when they think that right and they're they're gonna be connected to a beautiful blockchain and they're gonna say magic carpet bombing and a little light will appear in their house like nobody ever said that before, right? It's it, like our internet, MindSpace does not contain the other the entire internet, right? But it ha it does have a ton of robots that leave MindSpace and and do search the world the way. Like, Google searches the world, right? We do have robots that are out searching for information. But if it says, listen, we've searched everything. Our spider bots have searched everything. 
it this 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 combination of words has not been used not written not spoken and that's what we want we want all of the original creations that come from language especially to be communicated on our platform whether kids are dictating writing or You're monologuing or no it's incredibly important You're monologuing or having conversations like that's the point like i don't the need to talk to you i don't need to talk to you it's not debating yeah, this is the live stream topic. I, I go, I go, I don't give a fuck about your live stream. Is anybody watching? And if they are, hello, McFly. Hello. I have like four viewers right now. Tell them to, if, if I don't get text messages from these people, I'm going to say this once. If they don't text me within the next one minute, we're through. And I'm not going to give them my phone number. That's insane. So we're through. Well, how are you going to say that's fucking rabbit holing? Like, I come up with a if ton. No one's watching. I invent tons of shit, right? I had to protect it all myself. If there's a definitive place in the world that kids go to communicate with one another, or people go to communicate with one another, and they are citizens of it, like they are citizens of that fucking company. They're not getting a free product from a for-profit. Like they are citizens. They own a representative share of the fucking VC. Um, and there's a place in the world where the most new creations are actually created. That, that's what I do. And they can put it onto a blockchain for two cents. Like the interpersonal file service is free. If you say something new, two cents. And you can come up with shit that's new, two cents, I think that's, wor that's worth $2 million. Pages. If you come up with a 25 word meme that everyone in the world two loves, you, like you never have to work again. We're looking for brilliant people because we are the creators of the patronage. Like, the not-for-profit, for-profit tier, like, profit tier patron agents. Like, I'm a fucking patron agent. We're looking for people to support the way I was supported. Because they produce a thousand times what their life costs. In the capitalist measuring system, which is not completely divorced from reality. Like, it does a pretty good job of measuring aluminum ing ingots and fucking gallons of oil. Like, it's pretty legitimate in its measurement system capitalism wait what the fuck yeah but so why are you paying these people two cents per idea what is that all about I'm not paying them i'm saying if they say something and the light appears like you just said something that's never been said before and for long sentences that happens a lot right you're like nobody ever said that sentence for do you think you just said something profound no i, I don't and the presumption is always that it's not profound and that it eventually whether you're writing or, or dictating, or monologuing, or having a conversation. Um, like, the default is probably, yeah, you know what, we, like, we will erase this shit. Like, it probably doesn't mean anything. But we're not going to erase it right away, because you can never go back. And some of the greatest statements that ever were made, even silently inside someone's mind, like, we'll give it about 100 years, probably. Like, they took, some things took a century for people to realize. And most of it's nonsense, I get it. But in our system, nothing is protected except for our money, unless our people act, unless, I was not done, unless people actually swipe, actually take that data and put it on their own server, it doesn't mean anything. Unless they protect the data on their own personal node in conjunction with the atomic clock chain, it doesn't mean anything. That's what I'm doing and you're criticizing me about what it. What are you talking about? I'm, you're trying to build a specific hyper-concentrated yeah, city. Yeah, something that's never been done before. There's a, exactly there's a billion things that have never been done before. About. But I don't want. But think what of the, the you were generalization, just the species. Most of them problem. are not. I said most of them are terrible, but we don't know for sure. I don't think it's going to turn out in 100 years that jamming it people into hexagons. By 99%, I think it's it does. It, 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 it doesn't. That's insane. Like, yes, it does. It's not, I, I prove it with algebra. You, it's an you, easy you don't. formula. It's just, you, you are it's not that logic. connected. Nobody believes math. you. Nobody believes you. When Sheba says she believes you or no giggles and is nice, me. she will it's not go on a poly math. she cannot go on a polygraph. What like I'll ask her. If it's a fantasy that. in which you get rid of ninety nine percent of fossil fuel consumption. We will get rid of most fossil fuel consumption anyways. I don't want to do it your way and you and you basically call me a liar. Like you'd rather Go to the third floor of a concrete you cylinder with way, windows, ownership. with beautiful windows, right? So all you actually see, you dumbass, is... You don't even see these things because they have diffracting mirrors. 
they have two-way window or one-way two-way mirrors so you don't even fucking see them what you see is nature basically slightly your modified nature about? your cylinders have two-way mirrors um like i think i think from a distance when you look at them you're not going to see into them i think they will reflect at that distance they will have a bit of polarization so they they will show like and they're far enough away that they they might appear to be like the the aliens in predator or the predators in alien or the aliens or the predators in aliens versus predator whichever one does like the mirage thing And keep in mind, like before we built, long before we build these, like we can extrapolate so, in a. I'm not done in a virtual space to go a thousand feet up. We can see from mind. any height. We can build these very, very, very tall if we have to, but we don't know what's happening in the future. So I'm dedicating myself to a brand new idea that no one has thought of in a hundred years, and you just said that there's an immense amount of value in ideas that no one has thought of for a hundred years. Most of them. Most ideas suck, but sometimes there is an idea of every million ideas or billion ideas or thousand ideas that is really awesome but is not seen and recognized. If your idea is that profound, then I'm one of the people who would have voted to burn Copernicus. But I have so many legitimate objections that I can say on all the world's polygraphs and pass that I, I don't put much stock in your explanations for my rejection of the things you want to do. I would like help too. You can design things that you call... Oh, no. You think Solarina is a plastic recycling? You think Solarina is plastic recycling? Like you describe... When I say invention, you say everything's not plastic garbage. You think Solarina, which you designed in Blender your own way, is garbage or plastic. It's neither. Why is Solarina better than my idea? You spent by like, the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in my city, by the way. You spent like one hour or five hours or ten minutes on Soul Arena and like whatever you did to multiply the, the seats and make it look cool like and spent like four thousand times more designing a city that has some cool ideas but I don't I don't know if you break it all apart and grab assets that are inventions I don't know how many there are I don't I don't like I don't think I've I've gone in the city through some of the tours and seen some stuff that look kind of cool but I, I don't know if I saw anything that was like if you touch that that is a thing that by itself would sell whether it's made of plastic or wood or steel or glass or fucking dirt or corn cobs so i think it's pretty powerful that you completely rejected the whole idea of algebra deducing that's also insane what do you how do i reject algebra you just did. You said that uh, I believe you that you that your numbers your numbers. It's not it's not that the, the your calculations are wrong. It's that I think the, some of the numbers that you're actually choosing to use and the presumptions you're making and assembling them are wrong. I don't think you're making math mistakes. Like you're like if you like like you're saying two plus two is five. I don't think you're doing that. I think the two plus two are numbers that aren't real enough. And I think you like kind of accredit yourself as an architect and an engineer, and that like that these numbers are real when they're not real. You are like Musk in that regard that you always are over promising by a significant amount, whatever. And you're not quite Musk yet, but like you do that. Ninety nine percent would take I'll so long, like so, so long. Can check the algebra for themselves. I'll send it's it not to the you algebra. The algebra is fine, but you're jamming people in. So and the algebra is okay, and the arithmetic is okay, but I'm wrong. I, you think? What do you think? What? Why do you think I have the several objections that I have? You, you think I, I'm the fake fuck in the world? Like I'm the sheep of the world because I have objections why did I to say that. What do you think? Why do you think it is that I have I'm these objections? Nice if you brought something brilliant enough, like, yeah, I would stop doing what I did, probably. Like, but but it's it's not, like, I don't look at it like that. You may. Like, I look at my work and think there's 70,000 hours of fucking often brilliant work at a great cost, even though I'm alive and my, my lungs are black, whatever, that's it sucks. You put, I think, like 7,000 hours into an, a, a, an art slash design slash engineering project. And if you think none of that's obsessive work, you're like, you're wrong. Like, a part of it is an obsession. Just like it's me. It's my hobby. People do the same thing with... What's, what's your work? What's your work? Like, what is RPG. your work then? Like, 
people do the same thing with video games and Netflix and TV. That's worse. That's TV. worse. But that I, I don't want everyone like. I mean, it'd be fine if the world was such. Everybody had a design for a utopia. If everyone had a cool design for a utopia, they they put seven thousand hours in. I think we could mix those together and find the actual thing. And like, what you're doing is much better than playing mm-hmm. video I games. Said that it's not mine because you said my idea sucks because it's mine. I didn't, or didn't say your idea sucks, sucks and I did. Mine. I like you more than your idea, even though this kind of behavior is shitty to me. It's fucking shitty to me. Like you, you cast you, you cast aspersions. I say there's things in this city that I don't like, and you shit on me for it. Like that's some sheep shit, and you're too smart to be a sheep. The Pepe shit, it's sheep shit. You think it's anti sheep shit? It's fucking sheep shit. Trump is sheep shit. It's not anti. It's anti sheep is sheep. You're back on Trump, dude. Anti sheep is sheep. If you really focused on sheep, you're a fucking sheep. I haven't said the word Trump this whole conversation. But you do. But he's in your videos. Your life's work to this point. The project you put the most effort into. I've seen him. So I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you took him out. Like like, maybe it was just streams or something. But he was. Oh, you were playing with Discord. The sheep taught you after not asking me for many many years how to fuck with Discord. I don't know. You cast a lot of aspersions because I don't like some of your ideas. And and you don't really want to help me. You want me to help you build something that took a tenth as long and has maybe 4% the, the, the intellectual equity that could create an advantage in the market that could actually afford building cities. And you want me to work on yours because you're you. Yeah, you could be an ally. I, I'm not... An, an enemy, but I don't want to build that thing. And you're taking my business feedback, which becomes emotional personally. It becomes emotional because you push it so much, and it's not as good as you think. And I don't see any way to build it now. And if you're talking with someone else about building a game and not talking about making the game with me, which I've been talk, trying to talk to you about for years, then fuck off. That's ridiculous. He's a very successful game developer, actually. But you don't talk. I've tried for years, and you don't talk to me. You don't and you go to some guy. Me. You go to some guy who probably may may end up taking some kernel at some point and stealing it to, for his successful game career. I don't know anything about games because I don't run a fucking game factory. Do you think like fact? You think it's like rocket science? Uh? Yeah, it's pretty tough. You know how many fucking non geniuses have been able to delegate and hire all the different people that are brilliant that are not like you think you you have to be einstein to hire brilliant people you don't you can tell people like, you, you 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 the, the more i mean you would prefer a founder that is more intelligent rather than less but it's really more about the plan than the man and i think my plan like if one if we had to decide we went all in in a poker game like whoever wins if, if alex wins kevin is working on what is real, like virtual is real, like for the next 2,000 hours. And if Kevin wins, then Alex works on arcology, not even monarchology, just fucking arcology still, for 2,000 hours. I'm like, my plan, I, I, I would almost do that. The problem is the odds that I have to give you. Just my legitimate observation. You claim that I hate you, which is worse than anything I've ever said. It's like worse. It's like a bigger lie and a greater inaccuracy. I don't hate you. It's fucking stupid and and it's bullshit. And I don't know why you would want to stream this this kind of stuff. I don't know why you'd want to put in a permanent record, like misquoting me of all the fucking people in the world. Like you talk to me like I'm them, like there's a them, like I'm fucking them and them. I'm done. The real seem shady you and you, you can't wrap your head are. around that. I don't. Care. It, I've I've you spent a lot of time. You don't I've spent a lot of time looking your at your already. videos. I've spent a lot of time looking at your videos, hours and hours and hours. You I've seen some cool things. I've never are. once for I don't, I can, I've been inside them through your tours with your voice describing your invention. I've seen some cool things. Never once for a billionth of a second have I thought I'm I'm gonna like stop. You keep saying preparing, your invention. Preparing. I think you keep your when you say it. You keep well, saying your invention. I just don't belong to people, but I mean, things, city. things that you can use. I don't want to live in your city and well, your I, well, world. You called, it, you called it your city. You did that. You said this is my okay. city. It's a city. And I asked it's you about city. it. It's 
A apartment in A city. It's an A hole. From some perspective, and then, and then they, bring Trump, they bring up Trump and Pepe, like it's some. So what? Who cares? You're a pussy. You can't handle me saying that you're a fan of Q, Trump, and Pepe. Which to anyone watching will be like, this dude's a fucking troll or a sheep or a sheep troll, even though he's intelligent. Like it's amazing. You believe that you are like. Think about it. You believe you're free. You you, you probably believe you're like Alan fucking Watts, right? You you got it, but you're unhappy because everyone else is fucking stupid and, and fake. And, and hates you and your idea, even though it's Einstein-level invention. It's not. It's a cool project, and you've dedicated your life to it. I did not dedicate my life to a cool project. You. My project. You. My project. My project is my my project is hot. What is, what is it? What is the terminology? Small people discuss. Pe small minds discuss people. Medium minds discuss events, and then. Uh, geniuses discuss ideas. We're trying that's to discuss the, that's, ideas. That's, that's the people. exact quote. What are the ideas? Tell me the ideas then. Forget about. Stop trying to sell your city. A three-dimensional city. A three-dimensional modular city. That's the idea. But that doesn't. I mean, you say that. Like, I guess I am kind of thinking both. What? What would a and genius think, think of that? You are ideas you, sucks. Your I think, city sucks. What does the full pantheon of, Trump, of different Trump. levels and you're, of and you're intellect? You're claiming that you have some kind of intelligence. Uh, but here to but you have deal. never really quoted me accurately, and you're not the only person recording, like, at all, obviously, right? Like, you misquote me constantly, and I don't think oh, anyone... I'm, I'm not that likable by myself ranting, but shitting on someone because they're shitting on me? People like that. Like, I'm shitting on you in a way a little bit, and being a little... Because you shit on me, because you say terrible things like that I hate you, it's stupid, ridiculous, hyperbully, and I don't have an unlimited amount of time for it. I've spent a lot of time looking at your thing. I say put it on the shelf and work on something else until you are sustainable. And yes, I myself am not sustainable. I also don't live in my fucking parents' house and not live streaming on YouTube shitting on inventors because I'm not that happy and I want to be so fucking happy. You are shitting on inventors on YouTube. <laughs> That's the irony. Right. <laughs> I think that anyone, <laughs> lis any, anyone listening right to this, anyone listening to this, is going to think Kevin is is the inventor in this conversation. That's what they're going to think. Yeah, I'm not. I'm saying that's what people will think. I'm not saying you're not, but they're not like like I'm a designer. I do. I've made drawings of buildings and communities too. Am I a designer in the way you are? No. Like you spent a lot more. You spent. 10,000, 12,000 hours like moving mouse clicks to design things in the real world virtually. Some of them involve, like, actual creative things that, like, even though nothing can be more than relatively original, they're relatively original. And sure, you're an inventor. If you go like this, I guess you actually could be called an inventor in a sense or a co-inventor just by printing out a model of fucking Solarina. Yeah, I did that already. But it's, I mean, it's a model, so... It, 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 but it's more of, like, that's usually what happens, like... Inventors who are business people like Westinghouse or something, they, they no matter how smart you are, they mainly just pay you to do that shit. And if they're nice, they put your name on the patent. Or they don't put their name on the patent. But really, because people can't get their shit together, like, and a lot of smart people end up, you know, living in, 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 in their fucking mother and, and father's house because it's so untenable to go work for some guy that's telling you what to do and, it's, and you're literally a fucking cog. Like, I get it, but... We're not in the same situation. I'm in a sort of a terrible situation, but I'm also in like the greatest situation for creativity and prophecy writing of any person I've ever fucking heard of. And I'm not unhappy. You make me fucking emotional and pissed off relatively often because you take professional comments and take and, and, and you receive them personally. Every th and Sheba does the same thing. Every negative every so called negative thing I say and the truth is never negative, you take it personally, like all of it. All of it is taken personally. Like, your ideas are great, and if I object, it's fake. And that makes me think in my own... That's why I'm partially a little bit narcissist narcissist, and not just arsicist. Because if you're calling me fake, like, if I'm fake, we're fucked. Like, we're we hit fucked. an hour, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, yeah, it was terrible. It was fucking you, terrible. Let B... Let B, let, let B just let B talk without... Like, this isn't a debate. Like I didn't get to talk but really very. And B's not. Decide. B loves you. B B loves oh, you and cannot on. be decide. honest. No matter what, B can't even figure out what B thinks honestly because B really likes you. And if I did win, 
that's not really contemplatable openly inside of B. But I'm not saying I did, but if I did, B likes you so much and you're such close friends, there's no chance you're going to get an objective truth. This isn't a fucking debate. We can go talk about my life's work and there won't be any of this shit. There won't be any shit just like now unless you take shits. I can hear from people that this idea or that idea isn't good without saying they fucking hate me. Like, a, like I've just quit the game and now I'm fake. I'm just a troll. When you say I hate you, you've abandoned realism to be a troll. You just quit. So if someone There's no else debate says, hey, once you say so, hate. It's too fake. So, okay, it's too fake. Shut up. Let's get a scenario. Uh, Elon Musk says, hey guys, we should build three-dimensional cities and use up our airspace more effectively and, and improve the transportation system. By, by building in three dimensions. Would <laughs> Alex say, oh my god, Elon Musk is a genius. No, I'd say His you are, I'd say, is genius. I'd say you are boring company, just like Kevin is boring company sometimes when he's always on about the same idea and he knows, he knows someone who has a damn good chance at actually surpassing Ben Franklin and doesn't give a fuck. Because you're only worried about yourself. You don't care about the geniuses you know, except for, for your own fucking say amusement. Say you again. You, 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 you. You said it's your you city and you ideas. came in here. You didn't ask me how I was doing. You just I was said working. You, three more you times. barged in here you with your you friend. <laughs> you barged in here with your friend B. Hi, B. Love B. No problem with B. B's the writer, right? No problem. Happy. Barged in I'm here. here to talk about ideas belliger belligerent. That you disagree with. Do you want to hear? Do you want me to cut this video? So you, like you, you lied. You started off by lying and say you were live streaming, and you weren't even live streaming. And either way, you said two contrarian things, and you lied no matter what. No, but you didn't say it like a joke. You said I'm streaming, and you were gonna stream, but you just said you were first, but you weren't. You probably weren't even it's recording because you're basically an American retard. That's the second time you called me a retard this conversation. I'm retarded. I can say it whenever the fuck I want. You've definitely been held back. I go back in time and I'm and I bec and I magically appear and I talk to your dad when you're zero years old and I talk to your mom when you're zero zero years old and I become your mentor. You aren't going to be this Kevin saying that you think people hate you when in fact that probably means that you have some hate for them. I'm not saying that, but it probably means that. Like if you see hate, it's fucking you. Like you hate me. If you see hate, it's your hate for me. I'm not saying it exists, but I don't talk about hate. You do. Listen to yourself. My God. And listen to how friendly people can be with you when they don't actually, when they're not fully open and honest. You think B loves everything you've said as much? B is your friend and likes to talk with you. I'm your friend and like to talk with you, but I'm also like a 49 year old writer and inventor who has been hearing the same shit from you for years. I went from 620 to fucking 2,000 ideas since I met you. And you are on the same thing. And it's got... And it's it's too, it's, it's more fucking crowded with designs. It's this giant, bougie... Tri it's, it's trim. It's trim. The whole thing's covered in, like, trim. Like, fancy carved wood Greek trim theft bullshit. Instead of focusing on what the fuck. Like, maybe I'll just talk to myself. But I don't do that. Like, look You're at my the videos. They're fucking for a crazy. reason. You're supposed to make arcology better instead of arcology doesn't ideas. exist. And in a world when is what Who is cares? real doesn't exist. Kevin. Imagine someone in the year 1900 saying, "Cars don't exist. Give up on this stupid idea." You're always focused on cars. What? Summarize the idea cars again. What is the main idea, what is idea here? What is the main idea? What is the main idea? Say it again one more time. Take a few Three seconds and think about it. modular cities. That's the idea. That's the idea. Uh, China has built three-dimensional modular cities, and, and they, they, they've sucked. Um, I'm just saying, they built three-dimensional modular cities. Like, did they have more space than yours? Sure. Did they jam shit together in a more concentrated fashion than, like, Wuhan City or whatever the fuck you call it? Like, no. You took some buildings with an interesting design or like that I don't think even works for architecture particularly that well, and then you jam them together and filled them with all your creativity inside of a box that just happens to have six, well, eight sides. Like you created eight sided um, boxes. I have news flash for you. I'm saying You're eject. You're living in a box right now. You're living e in a box. Eject. But I'm not, I just work in this box on non boxes. You your build, you're building a box. You're building a box. You're building a box. And I don't love You're that shit at all. In a wooden box with walls made out of chalk. Sure. 
And you have two windows, and one of them is covered up beside, behind There's you like right fucking now. fucking nine windows. You're like, you're stupid, but like nine windows, and it's not nearly enough. I can open and close the windows both for light and air. I work in a studio by myself on crazy shit, so I often leave the windows closed and a piece of foam with eyeballs in front of the window so I can control my own light while I create in a miserable world where people like you believe that people like me hate people like you. Like, you believe that. Or you're lying. I don't like either one. I like you, but I don't like a lot of things you say and I don't like a lot of things you do. It's true. All right. I like you well, enough I that we're still friends. Like, we're still friends, but you push it hard as fuck. I'm older than you. Look, I'm older than you, right? I'm considerably older than you. I'm, at least in my world, 1% more intellectually and creatively legitimate. Um, and I've worked 10 times longer. You don't really ask me how you can help me. You don't. When you I'm want to... I'm making a card game for you. I'm making I don't your want, card game. I, but I asked you not to, and you fucking did it anyways. I said, listen a little bit. Let's develop something further. Actually, listen, and, and I'll I'm listen focused. too, but you also, I'm on whatever you get obsessed with, you're focused. Most of your work is obsessive, and if, if, if I were in your position, if I were in your position, and, and, and I wake up tomorrow, and Alex isn't there, it's all over. Like, I think I'm the most important person in your world by far. I think that for most of my friends, because I think most of them, although they live halfway decent lives, will die. No one will ever know who the fuck they are. They will not accomplish much. They could. I just don't know when you consider the total concentration of, of vision and power in the world. I've sucked a lot of shit up into myself, or the universe has put a lot in me. I don't know if the gradient doesn't fade away a little bit moving away from me. That's a narcissist. Like, like, yeah, but narcissists and narcissists, they, they, they derive from narcissists and narcissism. We are great. And, and I know you think we're great also, but you more think that you're great and that we're not that great. I think we're all great and, and we're failing. You may think we're all great and we're failing, but you think I'm also failing. But you're not. What are you trying to do? You have 2,000 ideas. You have 2,000 ideas. What are you going to do with them? I'm trying to do several things. One is, is which to, to make people understand in their own particular idiom, but successfully what open sorcery really is, like what comes after open source, right? That's one thing. Um, what citizenship is, like what, uh, I don't know, that, that, that the truth is real. I'm trying to convince them that the truth is real. I'm trying to convince them that white lies matter. Like that if you lie, you delegitimize your entire being to some degree every fucking time that you do it. You go back to zero. I try hard as fuck not to lie. And I think when people look back, with hindsight, they'll be like, part of the reason why he did all that shit is because he didn't have to hold any, any lies inside of his mind. Like he didn't have to waste any calculational ability on covering for his fucking lies. And when you don't lie... Which you did in this conversation. You call it a joke, but it was at least part lie. Um, you don't give your brain permission to lie, so when you go to sleep, you can't lie to yourself. I believe you lie to yourself. All of you. And, and me too. I just, I've minimized the living fuck out of it if, if I'm accurate. You like lie to yourself, and you tell other people lies. You lie. Like, I don't think you're a liar. I don't know, but you definitely lie sometimes, and you do it consciously. And when I say white lives matter, you call me a racist because you, all you hear is the old words. You're cannon fodder with one end. And you want me to work for you. Who in the audience wants me to go work for my friend Kevin? He's like 30 years old. How old are you? 33, B, some shit. B, like do a you young want him kid. to work for me? Yes or no? He's a young... I'm not talking... B is not my audience. B is a friend of mine she from is, the Shiva she's server. Audience. She's the only she's other She's not my anymore. audience. Audience is not your friends. Hi, B. Yes, it is. Just B, B. I prefer Beyonce, but B is fine. Should Alex be my employee? Kev, you're not Salt Bay. You guys would make a really good team. Yes, there you go. She's got it. 
But on that team, there's a coach, and his name is not Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I, I love you. You think I'm going to listen to you? You're a crazy motherfucker. You, I think you've done psychedelics like a thousand times. Like, like you I are smart. You. And, and you're a valuable human, but I'm not listening to you. Like, I'd rather listen to the mob than listen to you. Do you understand? I'm like, you're, you, you're already insane, for fuck's sake, right? Partially, you know, you're not completely sane. Do you know how offensive it is to say that you would listen to a mob instead of me? I think this is well, I said, the root I of said, problem. I think I said the mob, but maybe I said a mob, whatever. This is the root of your problem. If I design the Constitution, or at least I'm able to popularize the first version of a, an evolving Constitution, and that's the mob, yeah, yeah I don't write one. If you it's my mob... One. Well, partially because of the negative effect of, of... No, no, hold on, hold on. You should write a constitution and fill it with puns. Like, saturate it with puns. A punstitution, yeah, I'm not a punstitutor. And then, and then also make sure it's, like, crappy and socialist. I'm not a constitutor, I'm a prostitutor. What's your, I'm going to make, I'm make, pro, I'm gonna make prostitu prostitutorials. My posture is preposterous. It's been done, Only Franklin. Fantastic. No. Kev, you, 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 can, you can have so much money. That's the thing. Like, you could be as rich as my cousin by now. You could have $50 million. But you work for yourself, and, and you're an American... Well, don't take this wrong. Bitch. Right? Like, you're like an American bitch. Like, you, you grew up in America where everything was fucking free in a blue state, right? In the suburbs. You're a bitch Everything compared to like 99.9 percent. .9%. See, I'm more of a bitch, but like I'm I'm in the sweet zone, right? I'm in the habitable zone of being a bitch. What do you mean everything's free? Nothing is free. You just what? What? How? I you're all, like for like 15 years, 18 years, 20 years, whatever the fuck it was. I I bet you pay a ton in in rent and for dinner. Like I bet you're just pouring the money out. I bet like you're fully. I'm just saying you should think about. At least getting into a space like me. At least getting into your own fucking place, using your work to make a little money, at least to get your own place and see what it's like to actually have privacy. I think you might, I, I, I don't know, I, I assume you get along with your parents pretty well, but like, do you really want to live around people? Or is that a, is that a bit I of a lie, maybe? Company, company fine, company. but company visits, they don't live on top of your house, like all the, like, unless you're in a big fucking city where it's necessary. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's just uh, like when you, the totality of it. Kev, you're like a chicken with its head still on. I don't get it. I mean, you're not as bad as a chicken with its head cut off. But you're like, like as compared to what it takes to build Universe City, you are like a chicken. Like, like to actually build something with the kind of, even the 3,000 years you're putting in, like it, it, you're about as likely as a chicken to build a city. I might be as likely as uh, a dolphin. But like, I wouldn't do it if I was likely as a chicken. And I'm telling you, worry about yourself first. Okay, like, anyway, it isn't going anywhere, so I'm going to wrap up the live stream. It never goes anywhere. It's always about, it's always me reacting to your shit because you don't ask that. You ask for help from an You're older... You're just trash-talking me. You're not I'm not. I'm an older idea. man, and you don't talk about my idea. I got ten times the work. You don't really fucking YouTube. ask. What are you talking about? Why what is your YouTube? Idea? Nothing is... Your you. No one, like... Your YouTube? This isn't... I mean, it may be for you listening, this may be fucking YouTube. It's not his YouTube. It's not his city. This whole Kevin focus thing is annoying and shitty. You're not the not center of the universe. Just You're just repeating me. It's not my idea. It's not my city. You're finally getting it, Alex. Good for you. B. <laughs> She's sleeping. B. Help B. Help me, B. Anyway, uh, that's it. So uh, she's sleeping. B, who won? Real quick, I'm ending the live stream. B, you gotta uh, tell Kevin at some point that there is a real chance that even if he has the most brilliant design in the world, that doesn't mean he should die trying to build it. Right? Like, you can't just invest... Like, me, I will die trying to do what I do. Even if I fail, I will die trying. I w do not advise that to Kevin. Kevin, your shit is not at the fucking scope that you should die for. It's a city that's cool. 
that is not architecturally sound in the way you think, as far as I can tell. But, like, you don't die for something like that. It's just 7,000 hours. You've developed yourself as a person. Forget about Trump. Forget about Pepe. Forget about Q. Forget about this fucking city. And make a million dollars as the brilliant guy you are. And stop asking make, me for fucking help. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to make a million dollars tomorrow, Alex. Sounds real. <laughs> Sounds genuine. You genuino. You're, right that, You're a genuiner. Hang the fuck up. I had to turn off your fucking camera hours ago because as smart as you are, you don't understand aesthetics at all. You may, you, I'm, I'm autistic, but you're definitely aesthetically autistic. Like people, like I'll take you to random people on the street and show them your shit and ask them a little question. And the thing they'll choose is like, he's got a weird sense of aesthetics. Like he, cr he likes density and, and busyness and, and crowded shit and like just jamming the fuck. How many times have you showed my content to a random person on the street? No, I, I don't have to. I've shown them to, to, to friends so and lying. actually I actually you're say lying. nice you're things. things up. That's my opinion. I have not done the experiment, but if you and, and I don't want to because me. that's I don't I'm not trying to insult you. You're working under your pay grade. You're obsessed and you refuse to admit many truths. And people like B who are cool people and smart people, they enable you. Sheba enables you. She lets you take over like forty percent of her whole room because she's so nice that like nobody can say no to anything except me. Obviously, I get fucking like just like you. I can't stand your energy. You just disagree. Why can't people fucking that are honest disagree? It doesn't make any sense. I'm happy to hear you disagree with my ideas. We don't talk about them because it's always about you. And it's not debatable. This is not a debate. Where are you going to next, Kevin? I guess uh, I'll go to 5D and t talk to those people. How does that sound? How's it working? What are you talking I mean, about? Why are, why are you even talking to me? Like, if, if, if this is good enough, and I think you think it's good enough right now, you should be taking your video and going from room to room, briefly speaking with people, and finding people who want to talk with you live in your server. Like, but you, you, a couple years ago, you basically said it was kind of ready. Like, just do that. Don't bother me. Go show me that you can actually get people that are talking about this shit with all the visuals that you have. If it's so fucking good, just do it. I'll come visit, and yeah. and I'll, I'll listen to them if they have good things to say. And I'm like, oh shit, I missed that. No problem. I think I've seen you the most podcasts that people were on when we were talking about the idea, and then you went, went in the comments and you started insulting me and insulting the ideas. It, it's because it's, be, it's become stale because happened? the design in that video is fucking worse than earlier versions. It's worse. You're in your own head, and your friends are not honest with you, not because they're liars, but because they can't be. How can people be honest with you when they're not fucking honest with themselves? Like, I I love you, right? I love you. I love you, B. Not as much, because I barely know you. Like, I love Sheba. Doesn't mean that, like, everything is what everybody thinks it is all the fucking time. That these things are fucking genuine and organic. So, just because you fucking says say so. The idea is great, if someone says they think the idea is great and they believe it, then it's not true because they're lying to themselves? Is that your... No, if someone thinks the idea is great, they think the idea is great, and to them, the idea is great. That's fine, and if enough of them think that, you can you could build it. I've not heard I've not heard people say that. It's it's the 3D buildings. It's I don't know. I mean, it's something that exists in like common sense, like 3D buildings. Like otherwise, it's just a piece of land. But I know you mean more. But that already exists. It's just you're putting them next to each other. And I don't know what the value of making a six-sided tessellation is necessary, I guess. But you could do it with squares, right? You could fucking do it with squares. T squares tessellate just fine. Boring. Whatever. But nobody, nobody's like... You know how many people like, live, like have the ability to be like, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sacrifices because my shit... Boy, I don't want to live in a boring place. Some people. Not most of them. What are you gonna do? Go in 5D and like sell it? Like go into other servers. Like don't be talking to people you already fucking know. I believe that if you don't do some other work, 
I think if you don't do some, like, I think what's going to happen, the most likely thing is that, that you're going to keep believing these things about me because it's not a very happy world right now, and you're enabled as fuck by the internet and friends and servers that can't be fully honest. And, like, you're not going to help me. Like, you're not going to work on something that is perhaps, and I'm not it's not as dense as yours, but perhaps a hundred times larger, less dense, but a hundred times larger in scale, equally decent, equally human, and you just don't give a fuck. You, you, you cannot look away from this, this, this artistic hole where I think you may die. And I don't want that! I don't want you to die because you invested so much time in a thing and you have to prove everybody that it's, that it's right. Why would I not? Just, just because someone could say that about me. Because if you, if, if, if you bet your life on this thing, you're probably going to die n never building anything, in my opinion. Like, if, you, if this is what you try to do, it can't be done. And let, like, I only found out today for like the first time that you're actually seriously considering modifying it into a really cool game. But since you haven't talked with me about it, I just think there's something weird going on with him that he won't talk to me about things that could actually succeed. Only the other shit. Only saying, well, you said this is negative. Let's talk about that. I don't want to. Let's talk about the game. But we haven't yet. It's only been me. And you just don't say anything. This was like a, a few days ago this happened. <sighs> well, for years I tried and... and I'm not taking credit if you build a game by any means, but I did try for a long time to build something that could, in a logical real world, result in enough resources to put one of those things together. What is the cost Megan, of what is the cost of the of the main design right now? I, I don't even know. You understand like, that building a video game is 100 times riskier than building residential real estate. Um. Yeah, that, that, that's the number. Yeah, that's, that's it, the it number. really is. That's the number. For Minecraft, that was the number. Building a video game, it's like as risky as making a movie. There's a very how? good chance you're going to lose a ton of money. I wonder how many games, are like major games, have been built that, that lost money. I think most of the major games that were built made money. Like... Some minor not, shit did too, but some uh, some small games definitely like weren't good enough. They didn't have enough indie resources. Games on Steam. What about these like tiny ass games on Steam? Well, Factorio, it's great. Like, but what is the risk if you're What's just typing? What's the most popular one that you just? Like, you're typing. Well, you're like, typing code. So what? You're typing code. What's the fucking? There's like the twenty five thousand games on Steam. I bet. I bet. 10,000 of them lose money, at least. But you but you can build a game by yourself in 25 years typing your own code. If you sit in a room and type, you can't get land, you can't get wood, you, you can't get excavators. You can't get any of that shit. You can build a game for free if you have a computer and a brain. You can't build real estate for free. You need money and permits. And you don't have money and you don't have permits. And, and you are, like, when you take... I wish that there were like magical pride. I'd be like, give Kevin ten grand to give to an engineering, an architectural engineering firm, and and whatever their going rate. Spend that time analyzing without any anything. Just analyze this thing, and you're gonna find out like there's like so many pages, and that and that you'll learn like wow, I did I, maybe I didn't miscalculate, but I was using the wrong fucking numbers. Like you just can't do this. Like. It's like you're, you're trying, like, when you do this, it's as if you're creating a perpetual motion machine. And they don't exist. Like, it's like magic, like magic. 99% reduction in fossil fuels. I don't, I, 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 I doubt it. I mean, it's a, it's a noble goal. It's a noble goal. But you're not going to win a no bull prize. Like you actually no will not win a prize. No, you will not win a no bull prize, because just by saying like a like a spoiled American cunt that that I hate you. Like that you lost the no bull prize by slinging that bullshit at me. You never heard me say that, because it isn't true. It's bullshit, and you cannot win a, a no bull prize. All it takes is one example. 
of the audience believing that you said something that was bullshit and nobody laughed. If people laugh, you could say it's a joke, right? But if you say some shit, you talk some shit, some bullshit, um, about a fucking crypto night, and nobody laughs, you cannot win a Nobel Prize. You, you, you can't even be, a, you're, you're a Nobel savage, maybe, not even. One statement, it's over, you lose. I see why you'd want to build your world, because you've already got like a record in my world, and it's one of the meanest people. Like You're one of the 12 people I've met that has said the shittiest things about me on the record. Just mean stuff, because I'm like, I, you have no windows, and that's insane to me. I trust that you have enough sanity that I can say, that's insane. You're not insane, but that is. Rich people might All have right. windows. Get the fuck out of here. That's, that's it. That, anybody thinks that's insane. Geniuses and sheep are on the same page. Maybe rich people have windows. What color is the sky in your world, sir? Do you literally believe that... Uh, do you literally believe in the fucking Bible? Like, fuck Pepe. Fuck Trump. Fuck Q. Do you literally believe in Jesus? Like, for real? Of course he's real. No, do you believe that Jesus... Jesus is real. Je Jesus is... Jesus is real. Do you believe that Jesus is real? Like, do you believe yeah. he's the, the only way to get into heaven is by figuratively sucking this dude's cock, sucking his cock, figuratively, for spending, like, two days in pain? Like, two days in 14 billion years. He spent two days in a lot of pain. He was tortured. I get it. But, like, then, and, and then, like, maybe he visited hell in a dream or something. But he didn't go to hell and fight the devil. All of his brothers and sisters burning in hell, and he just went up to heaven. Jesus' score going to heaven, 100%. Humanity score, many of us burn. Of course, it's not real, but you believe it. And I don't buy, I don't buy believers. I don't buy believers. I don't buy believers. You don't, you don't, okay. buy, you don't buy something. You don't believe something that you have to buy to believe if it's bull leave and Should you don't I go you, to 5d and try to convince them that this is a good idea with me right now i don't know for me this is actually work we're, we're gonna i i I'm, I'm gonna have thousand right shit tons of people yeah you've never been there before you're going to five you're going to 5d for the first time and you're going to record them are you how do they yeah. like that in 5d I think they love it. You probably wouldn't even tell them, and it wouldn't be on purpose so much because you're not that conscious. You just go in and record them and be like, "Oh, everybody hates when Alex does this," but I'm just you. You you literally stream in Sheba's room, and create recordings on YouTube, and I've been screamed at for that so many times. But it is not an obvious disclaimer that you are streaming. You said it like twice over an hour or whatever, two hours, three hours. You said it a few times, but if someone's not in there. Their voice is going onto YouTube, not just being recorded, but being recorded by fucking YouTube. Not just recorded by Discord and the NSA, also recorded by YouTube, aka Alphabet, and giving them all that data with no disclaimer. And that's because you, because you kiss the ring, and I love you, Sheba, but because because you suck on Sheba's clit like that, like that's why. <laughs> you think so? You eat her. You eat her. Pussy. Saying you're a pussy and you, and you eat her. You get on your knees and you fucking suck it like she's the queen. I love you, Sheba. You know I do. But Sheba's in the top 12 mean people, too. Sheba's, like, taking issues Sheba between people. Mean? Sheba's mean to people? She has been, at times, extremely mean to one of the kindest, sweetest, most innocent children that I fucking know. Because there was a conflict. Because there was a disagreement. Like, all of this shade, this tremendous shade thrown one way. And there's a dude named White Power Ranger talking, like, the worst shit. And no shade really thrown his way at all. But disagree in the wrong way with anything. And shade. And, and who's the primary recipient, re recipient of that? I'm not paranoid. I'm fucking quadranoid. I'm paranoid as fuck by you people. Yeah, Sheba's been mean as fuck, like, because she refused to believe that it was us. 
and say, Shiba, it's not you. It's not me. It's not you. It's us that sucks sometimes. But it isn't like that. With Shiba and with you, usually, if there's a conflict, it's my fault. And I tend to agree that it's your fault. I tend to agree. Like, to have an oppositional viewpoint in favor of my own belief system. But I'm not quite as sure. I'm just like 99.99, which gives me tremendous credibility versus you, who are 100% sure that I hate you and, and my personal biases are causing me to shit on your theory of general relativism in architecture. Like your world shattering, hey, if a building has six sides, it plugs together with other buildings and saves heat in a less boring way than a square. I mean, I, you know what I'm mad at? I'm mad at how much I've influenced you because it hasn't been that good. Some of it's good. You do cool shit. But like me being here and being the source of gravity that I am, I think it's caused you to think I need to create my own singular profound thing to battle. It's been done, Franklin. To battle this Marxist Twain character, but you don't have to. Why would you want to? Like, why, why would you want to be at the tip of a spear? Like, why would you want to be at the tip of Master Shakespeare? I'm the tip of Master Shakespeare. You should enjoy your fucking life as who you are. Shouldn't you? You could. You could enjoy your life and not have to be the man that your insecurities make you think you need to be. You're not that guy. What are you talking about? You're not that guy. What I may not even be that mean? guy. I may not even be that guy. I think you're I'm... Saying that, you're saying I, I'm building arcology because I feel insecure? Is that what you're saying? No, I think you may need... you. Part of you may need to prove something um, by building some big thing. Like, by having this thing that you came up with out of, out of your own mind and uh, built it. You're saying you again. You're saying you again over and over. Well, I say either I or you. I don't believe in talking about they that much. I know myself, so I can say I with... In an, in an accurate way. And if I'm talking about you, I'm gonna say you. This isn't about me. Like, I'm, I'm visionaries. Like, I don't know what sign you are. It's a shittier sign. Do you mind? What's your sign? B, what's your sign? Leo. Leo's alright. You wanna see my Leo face? Leo. Oh, no, you're not going to win. B, what's up? What's your sign? Me. B. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean me? You're the only other person. You're, you're the only B. You're the only other person here. Yes. You people. Virgo. You B. Virgo. Virgo? Oh, my gosh. Are Virgos and Leos good together? Let me look that up. Kev, let me ask you a question. Um, because of how sometimes you drift from reality, are you in any kind of relationship or no? No. Okay, that's good to hear. I mean, it's not good to hear. It's good to hear because of the way like, you encourage some women being like, they want to sit on your face. Because if you're engaged in a relationship and you're dignifying that, like that would really hurt the feelings of the person you were in a relationship with. They would not like that. True. Women definitely don't like when their boyfriends are told by other women that they will fuck your lips and tongue with their clit until they come. Like, they don't like it. I, don't, I mean, I don't blame him. You gotta fuck face it. B, weren't you one of those people? You guys are funny. The internet's funny, right? Like, they're inter-nuts. Like, people say wild shit. Like, I say wild shit in reality, right? I go to the cafe most every day. And if you want to come to the cafe on any fucking night, you got a vehicle, right, at least? Right? You could get to... Yes? At night? Kevin? Vehicle, yeah. So, why don't you go to the cafe some of these nights, you know, drive over and and spend some time with the Hobo Sapiens. Don't be overly aggressive. Like, don't be overly Kevin, but I mean, you can you can talk about your own shit, obviously. You're a person, like, you have, do you, but, like, there's a bunch of people over there um, 
and you would enjoy it. Like, I don't want you coming to the house, because I don't want anybody coming to my house. I'm going to start a poker game soon, and you're welcome. You could actually try, I mean, do you know seven funny people who are somewhat sane and would never come back to my house and steal everything or kill me? Like, could you get a poker game together of all the people? You could, right? All the people you know in Buffalo, you could get you seven people that would make a really funny, like, really interesting conversation over some games of, of poker with fake chips that we build. Right? You, you know seven funny-ass people? Yeah, of course I do. Think about who the fuck they are, because I'm almost certainly starting a, a nightly poker game here. I'm going to put 10,000 chips, 10,000 Ds. They're called Ds for now, you know, dollar equivalents. 10,000 Ds, I'm going to probably print out chips. I'd probably pay you to print out some of these chips. Oh, fuck, then they can counterfeit them. But that's part of the story, right? Like, like, fuck, of course they're going to counterfeit them, right? If, like, that's the goal. It's like, who counterfeits these chips first, right? Because it isn't really there. Like, you can't do it. Like, we're waiting to see who first makes a believable counterfeit chip. And we're like, if you can do it, up to a certain amount, like, we'll give you gift cards for that, too. People think of them as being grift cards, right? Because I don't own more than one company. And, and I haven't, like, made any money. So, like, they're not gift cards. They're grift cards. You're trying to get us to give you money to rug pull us, aren't you? Just like everybody else. Like, democracy is a rug, rug pull. Israel's a, a, a rug pull. This is just keyword salad tossing. <laughs> It's monkey word salad tossing. Kev, I'm telling you, some of the best plays in the game, what they are is just weird combinations of words, right? Like, really weird, unusual combinations, whether as portmanteaus or just sentences, that cause everyone to start fucking laughing. Like, that's really, like, the, 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 the open ultimate, like, the open ultimate, the hope and ultimate is, like, everybody's laughing because something was said that is definitively not normal, like, not said before. Like, the light goes on like this. This sequence of words does not exist. And yet everyone's laughing their ass off. And, like, you instantaneously get an, encaps an encapsulated joke, right? If you make a funny fucking joke, you know, in a system with 8 billion people in the world and 8 million people in our network, you never have to work again. Like, it's kind of close, actually, at only 8 million people. If you, if you make a joke that everybody fucking laughs at, you don't, you'll never have to work, for sure. Like, if everybody laughs at it, you're, you're on a sabbatical for life because we believe that when you put someone on a sabbatical if they're super bright they're going to produce like mind boggling shit until the point when there may not be many more practical new ideas that actually improve anything at all like there may be new ideas and people will start to invent like new kinds of fans and doors and vacuums like in refrigerators but It'll mostly be like we have amazing tech, right? Like all of the patents, 99% of the patents have expired, right? So we have all this crazy tech with which to build amazing things. And it probably just literally becomes about like the art, right? Like the art of the products. Like what does the container, the physical version of, of these ideas, like how is that made? Like who's it made by? How is it made? Do you have a hand in its making or its shaping? Are, like... Do you own the company that makes it? Like, I think you should. Like, do you own the company that delivers you ketchup? Like, you should. Like, if you can get a... If you have money in the stock market, especially considering its volatility, and you're giving people money to give you money back, that money is taxed at a very high rate. If you give us money and we hand you back products, it's not really hard to do. Like, you don't get taxed like that. You, you actually save more in taxes than you get in profit. So... Like, the, the pathway forward is, is clear. We can do it. It's just that there's no we, so we can't. And some of the people, some of the people will live in a mountain made of hexagons. Just because Kevin is so dedicated to it, if we don't, like, if we don't find enough thousands of people to finance one of Kevin's hexcentricities, I'll be sad. And I'll visit it. Like, I'll definitely visit. I'll fly over it in Mythorca. I'll fly over it in a thousand meter long Zeppelin. And, and I will then have that Zeppelin birth a 30 foot long jet Zeppelin. And I'm inside that too. And I'll fly down as the baby and there'll be like afterbirth simulation. 
And then I will come down to where Kevin's swimming pool is, because he's the king of this place, and he makes a swimming pool for me. And then the 30-foot-long Jet Zeppelin will fly over the swimming pool, and I will then be birthed from the 30-foot-long Myth Orca, the orca-shaped Zeppelin. I will come out of her womb in an orca suit that basically makes me like the size of a dolphin, but I will literally dive out of it as another orca into the pool. But I'm going to probably have artificial lungs at that point. But there's contacts inside of Mythorca and baby Mythorca and uh, embryonic Mythorca. If you're still listening, like, what's wrong with you? Like, this is just a... I heard, yeah, this I heard is, uh, an orca giving birth to you. That's all okay. I heard. Okay, close your eyes for one second. And just imagine a thousand foot long, something bigger than the, the Hindenburg, but shaped like a whale. Obviously doable, right? Like, I mean, it's obviously completely doable to build a very large scale helium or hydrogen craft, right? Like, if you can build a hydrogen version that even flies over land, because what the FAA realizes is that even if this thing lights on fire, like, even if it lights on fire, like, it will, there's a mechanism to, to, to contract it, sort of, and prevent anything deadly from falling at a speed sufficient to kill anyone. I mean, if it's carrying cargo, there's some trouble. But if it's just me, no one will die, even in the worst possible fire case. Um, and the craft that I'm in is a part of the larger craft and at any point can be ejected from it. And that's also a balloon. And that balloon is filled with helium and is not flammable at all and is actually... I'm inside it the whole time, and there's a thin water barrier. So it's just a giant Zeppelin shaped like a whale, and which could hold 150 people pretty easily, but it's my craft, and inside of it is a smaller, super nimble, 30 to 40 foot long, lighter than air whale that I'm also inside of, and I'm wearing a virtual reality headset, and I fly this whale through the air like a whale in the water. Then I happen to have a body size version, right? Like a cosplay version at the very end. So the mini Zeppelin, you know, like a yacht, there's a yacht and there's a little boat with the yacht. So I fly down in the little boat after slipping out of the big boat Zeppelin. And just for your amusement, the, the tiniest Zeppelin is like a foam suit. And that also looks, it probably will be the size of a, like a baby orca. And I'll be inside of it. And I'll be on mushrooms. What are you going to do? You're going to laugh. Like, you're definitely going to laugh. Go. Good. I've been waiting for this for hours. Fucking stupid live show content creation bullshit. Then, then you got to go. I can see the screen over there, and I can tell you're still there. I can even see your screen from 20 feet away and realize that you do not how to line up windows. B, can you give him an aesthetics lesson? Can you like watch his screen for a whole day and just be honest and be like, Kev, I think you, like, I think I know a way you can make this look better. Like, Kev, I think maybe let's look at the layers of your city. Maybe we can change a few layers and 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 make it look better, not just to random people, but even to Alex. And then Alex won't have to say things Brilliant like, idea. people won't say things like, "I'm your master, Beta," like that. People won't have to say things like that. I wouldn't even be Master Beethoven if it weren't for people like you people. I'm open Mike Myers. Wait, from Halloween or Goldmember? That, Kev, that was good. That was a very good episode. It's terrible, but for real people in the real world, which is essentially kind of hopeless, pretty good. Like, they like this shit. Like, it's like, it's like I'm talking with Dark Dawkins. Like, or I'm Dark Dawkins and you're some atheist retard. But I will not rescind your offer to visit the last pre-supper. You are welcome to be at the last pre-supper. And the goal at that pre-supper is to be voted at the end of that dinner by the audience as the Jesus. Every last pre-supper has a winner. It's a one-night reality show at a dinner and the audience picks the person who is most Christ-like. And it's my show, so I'm going to win that shit a lot. I'm a fucking messiah, and I'm hot. Sorry, I'm not a messiah. I'm a hot mess. <sighs> Don't you like hot messiah, Kevin? Why aren't you laughing? Is it push to laugh? Is that why? Push to laugh? 
Oh, B, what's up? B. What's up? Is it, this is not the this is not the least boring thing. This is not the most boring thing you've ever seen, right? Like you may not love it, but there's more boring shit than me yelling at Kevin, right? I thought that was pretty interesting. You know I love Kevin, right? And I think he's a very he's obviously a very bright guy. And some women want to fuck yeah. his face, and he's my friend, so I'm glad that some women want to fuck his face. And if no one wants to fuck your face, like that's sad. Or make love with your face, whatever. You, I would like to make love with your face. Uh, okay. I, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that to you. I'm sorry. That sounded bad. That, like literally, just sounded like I was saying that to you, B. I, that's not what I meant. And Kevin's gone. So, but thank you for your service. Kevin is awesome, but also I think he's a little bit addicted and, and, and in a rabbit hole of a, of a building where some of his calculations, although using correct math, are using the wrong variables. You know, America can make us believe that we are more profound than we are, right? We're all little special fucking snowflakes. Yeah. How's your book? It's good. I haven't been writing it since I've been, since I caught Corona. Corona? Can you, uh, when you feel better, as soon as you, like, the first time you realize that you're 100% better, can you pretend like you already finished the book, right? And, and a lot of people read the book, and you're recording, um, an introduction. Like, you're talking about the book or the story, like dictate something or you just record it. Or I'd say record it and dictate it. Like use your laptop, your phone, whatever you have to do, like sit down on a camera and record it for practice, but also see what kind of like dictate some text that way. And maybe, maybe you'll be able to improve some parts of, of, of your writing at some point by switching between writing with a keyboard and, and straight up dictation. It's different. And if you can get yourself started with dictating, it can be really good. It's hard to start. But it can be really, really good. Not saying you should be a dictator, but I kind of am. Where did Kevin go to five five D's? Five D's nuts. I gotta go back to the music too. It was good to have you. I don't know if I could have done this with Kev without you there. Like seeing I s before I realized he was here. I saw like your pink rectangle on the screen, and I, I didn't, I didn't even know for sure that it was you. I was just like, oh, there's somebody else here. And then so when Kevin appeared at the same time, and I noticed he was here, I was like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of a lubrication having a third person. I mean, nine nine rectangles on the screen, but only three people. It's pretty funny. We're going back to terrible music though. I don't know. Were you? When did you come in the server? Like today? I don't. You never. Oh, we are on my server, right? Uh, yeah. Kevin invited me. It's good to have you. I'll give you a little uh, roll. It's not always quite so negative. Usually it's just me working by myself, but if you're ever super bored, I mean, you can stop in and see what's going on. Okay. Thank you. You're Bye. welcome. Bye. I'll see you later. All right.